Hello and welcome back for another video where we will be talking about a specific person in history who was of significant importance. So you probably learned in school that Christopher Columbus was the first to discover America. However, that is just another fact that school got wrong. Surprise, surprise. Who actually discovered America first, you may ask? Well, that is going to be the topic of today's discussion, and the person who did is none other than Leif, the lucky Erikson. Let's take a look at Leif and his life. Most of what we know about it comes from the Vinland Sagas, most notably the Saga of Greenlanders and Eric the Red Saga. These stories weren't written down until about 200 years later, so we're not exactly sure what is fact and what is embellishment from 200 years of playing telephone, but let's do the best that we can. Leif was a Viking, born possibly in Iceland or maybe Greenland, around 960 to 970 AD, and was the second of three sons born to Eric the Red. Eric the Red himself was also a famous explorer and, after being exiled, founded the first permanent settlement on Greenland around 985 AD. As was custom for the Norse, Leif and his brothers actually grew up outside of the family home. They were in the care of Triker, who was an older male servant of Eric's. When he was around 12, and thus considered a man, he returned back to the family home. The next thing we know about him is in about 999 AD, he sailed from Greenland to Norway. During this adventure, he was said to have been blown off course to the Hebrides. Here he spent the summer and fell in love with Thorgunna. Unfortunately, Thorgunna's parents disapproved as she was of a high status. Despite their disapproval, however, she was already pregnant by the time Leif was heading on his way. Since Thorgunna had to stay put, she later sent their son, Thorgils, to Greenland to be with his dad when he was of age. He then continued on his way to Norway. Here he served on the court of King Olaf I and converted from Norse paganism to Christianity. Now let's get into his journey. There are actually a couple of versions of how he arrived to the new land. The saga of Eric the Red says that King Olaf sent Leif back to Greenland to spread Christianity, and during this trip he was blown off course. It is said that this is when he came upon the new continent. According to the saga of the Greenlanders, however, Leif's idea to travel to the new land came about when a traveler, Bjarni Herhoffelsen, was blown off course and saw a new land mass while attempting to find Greenland. They didn't set foot on this new land and instead headed back toward Greenland and relayed what they had found. Leif ended up buying the explorer's ship and put together a crew to investigate this new land. His father, Eric, was said to have originally planned to join him on the journey to the new land. However, on his way to the ship, he allegedly fell off a horse and took this as a bad omen, and so he stayed home instead. On this expedition, he was going to be taking a crew of about 35, including his former caretaker, Triker. After setting sail, they had a few misses before finally successfully finding the land described by Barney. First, they hit an icy and stony land they called Hulla Land, or Land of the Flat Stones. This is believed to be present-day Baffin Island. Next, they hit a very wooded area they aptly named Markland, or Woodland. This is thought to be on the coast of present-day Labrador. Finally, in about 1000 AD, almost 500 years before Christopher Columbus, they found their target, which they named Vinland, or Vineland. It is believed this settlement is Los Aux Meadows, which is located in present-day Newfoundland, Canada. What remains of the settlement includes three houses, one forge, and four workshops. The area they landed on was abundant, just as they'd hoped. There was ample timber, wild wheat, and an abundance of grapes, hence the name Vineland. Here the explorers stayed until spring before heading home with timber, wheat, and grapes in tow. Upon returning to Greenland, he ended up taking up his father's chieftainship when Eric the Red died. 
He also spent the time sticking to the mission given to him by King Olaf and worked on spreading Christianity. His mother is said to have converted and built the first Christian church in the area. While no large permanent settlement was ever established, his siblings did actually later return on subsequent voyages, although Leif never returned himself. The last time Leif was mentioned alive was in 1019 AD. We're not exactly sure how or when he died, but it's estimated that he died between then and 1025 AD, as that is when his son, Thorkel, assumed the role of chieftain. Interestingly, there's no mention of who the mother of Thorkel is, or when he lived, or died. In fact, no other partner aside from Thorgunna is even ever mentioned in relation to Leif. The rest of his lineage is a bit of a mystery, much like Thorkel himself. The settlement of Laos Ah Meadows today is now a protected UNESCO World Heritage Site and has been since 1978. Aside from the buildings that I previously mentioned that were found there, there were also around 2,000 artifacts found that would have come from the area where Leif originated from, thus furthering the belief that this is where they landed. These days, Leif is commemorated with statues as well as Leif Erikson Day, which is celebrated on October 9th. So there you have it, what we know of Leif the Lucky Erikson, famed explorer and true discoverer of America. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you next time.